Trusty sidekick. Oh yeah, we're here. <laughs> That's a completely new one. Might just got to go ahead and include shenanigans. <laughs> shenanigans is in the room. I gotta clean my camera. Sorry. I usually do that beforehand, but I just turned that on and went, yuck, that needs to be cleaned. Today, we are doing the July calendar page. Now, every time I do this, I get a lot of questions, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you real quick. This is my desk calendar turned mini album project, and this is my second version. I have another version that um, I'm sure Shannon will be linking videos for you guys like crazy, but this one, is my 2020 version, which really the only difference is I made the base a little bigger because a lot of you guys asked me if I would so you could put a little thicker um, pages in. But here's how it works. It has a little magnet closure here at the bottom that opens and the top flips around like so. And then the base turns back into itself and magnets on that back piece and holds it like that. Okay, and then you have all these little pages, which are super cute. So this is January. Now I've already decorated in this one. So January is here, and this one is February, and this is March, and April, and May, and June, and today we're gonna do July. So this calendar starts out like this. It's a calendar in the beginning, and then we decorate the pages, um, and th then it becomes a highlight reel of your year, which I think is really cool. To me, it's the best of both worlds, mini album and scrapbooking at the same time, because at the end of the year, I have this really cool little highlight reel that I can flip back to and look at. So today, we are doing July. Now, a lot of you said, you cover that up, you always cover that up. I do, for the most part, cover that up. I don't like the way this is, um, doesn't feel very focused, hold on a second. I don't know why. Let me try cleaning that one more time. Maybe I didn't do a good job. There we go. That got it. There must have been a spot. Okay, so a lot of you guys say, but you cover up that pretty paper that you put down, and then you've wasted that paper. But really not. Because in my opinion, I've used this for the whole year, and I've enjoyed it, especially this month, and it's time to move on. I'm going to cover this one again. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I just decorate inside of here and let that be the thing, but I'm going to cover this. And I'm not sure which paper I'm going to cover it in. I'm going to reach down here to my pile of six by sixes. <laughs> I probably shouldn't show you these. You don't even know how many I hoard. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> I do have a lot of six by six pads, and I know what I'm looking for. Let's see. I think I know what I'm looking for. I think I do. Let's see. Oh, that'd be cute for July. Let's look through there. So, who knows what our focus is? We ha I haven't shown you. So, who knows what I'm focusing on for the... Oh, this is cute. We can't get this anymore, though, can we? I haven't been able to mm, lately. I better not use it. I better not use it. These are heavy. There's a part of them. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to look through here. I think this will be fun to kind of do a red, white, and blue for July. That makes sense, right? I think it does. Okay. So, let me see... Um, what I want to use. Who's guessing? Ooh, I like this color a lot. I see an MIC. I saw an MIC. I'm down with MIC. <laughs> you knew it was going to happen. Were you waiting on it? <laughs> uh, this was waiting, yeah. There's my page color. I like it. That red. Uh, maybe I'm just too close. I don't like how this is like looking funny, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're like, please stop messing with the camera. But I don't like how it's looking today. And it doesn't want to do what I want it to do. There we go. Okay. So, let me show you the photo. So, this was suggested. Now, this photo is a little blurry. You're not seeing things. This one really is. <laughs> but this is the final scene of Made It Con. This is <laughs> the very last event, the very last class. This is what we look like at the very end. Have you seen it? We took a screenshot of all of us. Remember when we got in the camera all together? So, this was right after... Um, the marathon, the make it go round, what did we call it this time? The marathon. This was right after it. So this is the picture we took. And it's got several of the teachers, but not all of the teachers. Because Edith and Christopher and Tracy are not in this photo. But they weren't here with us. This was us after the event. So I thought it'd be cute to focus on that picture and also something else. We'll get there in a minute. So let's cut some cardstock. Let's get some cardstock cut. So got my little trimmer out here. And I want to say... If this is five and look, I said I need a Tim Holtz ruler and look what I'm using. 
five and a quarter by five and a quarter. So that's what we're gonna cut here. Five and a quota by five and a quota. Now listen, everybody's kind of spread out today and I'm too chicken to try my new microphones. Maybe next week we'll try the new microphones, but I've been chicken. So if you need to hear from Vinny and you can't, he'll talk louder, okay? So, <laughs> right, you'll just talk louder. I will. He'll yell at us. He doesn't mind yelling at us. All right, so I'm gonna glue this down and this is gonna be my new page. I love this little album because it's quick and easy. And like I said, at the end of the year, it's done. Instead of me going, oh, I wanna do my year in scrapbook form, it's done, you know? I love it. All right, so I'm gonna get that glued down. Y'all know I had to go red and white because you know the color scheme of MIC, right? You know the color scheme. All right, so here's our photo, which I'm gonna have to do something with that. Um, let me see where, what did I do with it? It is. Okay, so I'm gonna be using one of Vinny's marathon kits. You excited about that? Oh yeah. This is the kit that Vince assembled in our marathon. If y'all don't know, <laughs> if y'all don't know about the marathon, so the marathon works like uh, we do 11 or 12 projects in about three hours, right? Well, old Vinny boy was the star of the show because we're supposed to take how long? Five minutes, 15 minutes. We're supposed to take 15 minutes for our projects. Well, because we were doing it online, the rest of us were going pretty fast, but old Vinny boy probably took the full 15 minutes. I did. He was like, I got time, I'm taking it. I he assembled. Get their money's worth. Can I tell him about these boards? Yeah. You tell them. They won't be able to hear me. You tell them. They will. Can y'all hear Vince? I think no one's said they couldn't. I don't think. I haven't seen any. Um, so I had the chipboard, right? This is chipboard. I took it to Vinny and I said, you're going to need to cut, um, how many was it? 150, 160. It was a bunch of them. Two and a half by three, two and a half by three and a half pieces of chipboard for me. Well, he did, he did pretty good. Uh, apparently this cut was fine. But it's somewhere in there, I believe the blade broke. <laughs> it didn't break, it just got really dull and it wasn't cutting anymore. I'm telling you, the tip broke off. You can tell because it left the center. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like the the guts were left of the chipboard. So your the tip of the blade had to have chipped and you couldn't get all the way through. So he's like, they're not gonna want <laughs> they're not gonna want these chipboard pieces. I'm like, oh yeah, they are. I'm gonna tell them Vinny cut them and that's what they're getting. So that's what chipboard looked like. I love to mess with him about that. He was like, they're not gonna want these, but you guys never complained. Not one person complained about their rough chipboard. Did you say something about it when you were doing it? Uh, I don't remember. Seems like I probably you did. You probably did. So this is the back of the um, ATC, which I think I may use also. I may like put it kind of up here, let it kind of show something like that. And then I think I'm going to use this little piece behind it. I just think it'll be cute to have all these little pieces on here. And then mm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it all because I want to get this little state on here as well. Of course, this state might sneak right up between us. Look, it does. It sneaks right between us, just like that. And then I can put this on here like this. And then I got some bling and some foam. We're golden. Look at that. That works, right? Super cool. Y'all not been able to be here. Y'all be heard. You're so quiet when y'all can't be heard. We just go into town and see what happens. I'm going to glue this down where I, where I had it. So I thought it would be cute to be... Um, part of the design since it was, you know, one of the projects we did. I think it will be cute. All right, and then this little guy, let's see. I think I want this um, photo to come all the way out to this edge, which means this guy can live. They always remind you to not forget your hole. Yeah, there. I didn't cover the back so I can poke the holes in there. All right, so I'm gonna put this like so. It even says Made It Con 2020. That is so cute. Okay, I'll put glue and then I'll lay it out again. Let's put some glue down here. Like a so. And then, I don't want this to be too low, but I want a lot of this to show if it can. I don't know how much it's going to get to show. We're going to do it about like that. And whatever show shows. All right, and then... I just want the 2020 to show, so we're good there. So I can glue this down. Oh, can I? Let's make sure everything's gonna fit. 
2020 just shows and then the state. Yeah, look, and none of our faces get covered. That will work. That'll be cute. We get asked this from time to time, but um, what about our Spanish stamp set? We had one way back in the day. Do you remember that? Do you, is there any way we can find it and have it redone? I don't know how to find the file. It is so, so, I'll have to look. I know Mandy looked for it, and I, she didn't have any luck finding it, so we might could put Sylvie on it and see if she has any better luck, but it's it was so long ago, so long ago, but... We might try to dig it out. Look, that's cute right there. With all of us sneaking around it. It looks like we're like holding it up. It does. I'm going to like do this. I'm going to put it on some foam. I have to have more than this. Because this foam was not for this. I don't think. I think this foam was. I don't remember what it was for. But it's in the package. So I'm using it. Let's get some Scotty. Oh, here's a piece. Let's use this piece. I think I had another piece on my desk somewhere. Maybe not. Let's get another piece here. There we go that down there oh Diane finally got mente paper oh it's so nice does it smell like honey to you because every time it gets delivered our foyer smells like honey doesn't it yes it smells so good smells dish all right so I'm gonna stick this in here as low down and not to cover up old Vinny boy I don't want to get told off about that I'm not you covering up leave, old Vinny boy you leave me out now mm -mm, not gonna do it not gonna do it this is y'all this is coming together super quick all right, let's put this guy down here. This was the best shot of Taylor we could get. Somebody's gonna be like, poor Taylor's just like half her face. We literally stopped the camera at where her face was in the most. Like <laughs> she had leaned in and that is the most her face ever came in. Other than this, it was just one eye. We didn't wanna do just one eye, so we grabbed it. It's just a screenshot from the video, so. All right, all right, all right. Let me put this one down here. Oh, no, I don't need them all the way down. Glad I stopped because I don't need that one because it's going to glue to the, the one I've already got to the Alabama that's already lifted up. So let's peel this off and peel this off. And then let's put some glue here and put this little dude down. It is really cute, isn't it? Now, I know right where these blings need to go. Right where? I should have let you do this one since it was your kit. No, you're doing good. That's not the one I want. I just put these away. Here it is. Clean off the tip of this. It, Y'all, did y'all see my Tuesday video? I had glue everywhere. Everywhere. Some projects just make you stick everything to yourself, and that was one of them. I mean, I had glue everywhere. I'm going to put one here. Like that. And now I'm going to put one here, like that, as my pastor's wife says, like of that. I think that's so cute. She says, like of that. Have you ever known that about her? Well, I hadn't noticed it, but you're not in Sunday school with us. I'm, so. I'm near about as country as they are, so I know. I love it. Like of this. This one's going here. Like of that. I got that one a little low, but I'm not gonna stress about it. Look how cute. What else does it need? This is where I always go, what else does it need? Let's poke holes. What else can I put on here? What do you think, man? I think it looks pretty good like it is. Kind of simple to the point. It's the story of my life. Simple. I don't know about the to the point part. <laughs> okay, you laugher over there. Okay. <laughs> Shannon's like, no, I don't know about that either. I Baker's twine so bow. That's a cute idea. Y'all know I love Baker's wine. I got some black and white that'll break up a lot of that red. Bring some of that black and white down here. That's a good idea. Let's do it. Let's do it. And let's do a different way today. I normally do an air bow, but let's do a um, four loop or a, a two loop bow. And let's cheat it. I didn't cut enough. I'm usually good at cutting enough. I usually, cut, I usually cut way too much. All right, I will. Give me half a second. That's a good size. All right, pen and glue. Pen and glue tweezers. I just used them and I dropped them. I wonder if I picked them up when I dropped them. Nope, they're right there. That's bad, ain't it? Lisa, to know it, at least I knew person. where I dropped them. I knew where I had them on the ground there. Okay, so I've made four little loops. I'm gonna take my tweezers and put it right into the center like that. 
Then I'm gonna cut myself a little bit more twine, not too awful much. This will become the tails. And I'm just gonna tie it around. Just make a knot just to get us some loops. Move that off there for a second. Move this over a little bit. Pull it snug. Woo. Pulled it real snug. Pull, tie it one more time to make a knot. Pull that snug. Trim everything to size. I'm gonna get rid of that little piece that's not doing us any good. Trim that a little bit. And I think I'm gonna get rid of that piece because I don't need it either. It's just kind of hanging there. There we go. And then I'll put that little bow right there on the side of Bama. On the side of Bama. Cute. It is cute, isn't it? Yes. Super easy. Let's get that tucked under there just a little bit so it hides in a little knot. There we go. All right, I need to hold that for a second. Or I'll show you something else we can do. We can lift this up and put them twizers right there and let it do the work. All right, then. Uh, that was a quickie. Wow, could it be done? Hmm. It's done. What if I go ahead and do my journaling? Let me, Shannon's like, it's done. Don't do anything else. Let me do my journaling, though. Didn't I have some white paper here? That'll probably work. Let's cut a piece of this. I don't want to flip it over and write with that bow. I didn't think about that, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead. I'm working with a flat crowd today, Vince. You're I can't even great. get a smile out of you. You're doing great. What do I need to do? A tap dance? Yeah. Y'all, I cannot dance. Don't ask me. <laughs> All right, here we go. Made it con. This is where Shannon should be doing all this. But if I let Shannon do it, I won't have my own handwriting in my book. And I tell y'all, that's what I like. Made it con 2020. All right. Somebody talk amongst yourself so I can write. Because <laughs> you can't do both can't. at the same time. Well, I'm proud of you. You're doing good. Shannon and I are just kind of reading comments, trying to keep up. Got a huge order of stamps in today. I'll tell you all that. Taylor's counting them and getting ready to put them in the store, so they should be in soon. Several of you asked about the Christmas cheer paper. It's on order and should be back soon, hopefully earlier than later. Sometime next week, I suspect. Anything else you want to say? Shannon's she can't not talk. Saying. She's writing. She can't talk. That's like she can't text and talk and know what everything else is going on in the world. She gets blocked out. I'm curious as to what you're writing. Can you not do like Jimmy Fallon and just write <laughs> and talk at the same time? Dear. <laughs> He's not really writing. I'm really writing. He's pretending and talking. Katie said she really liked making the Cajun pasta that we had on Beanie's Vittles back in the day. And I haven't made any of your recipes in a long time. Do y'all want to know what it says? Of course. It says, this was our first virtual event. We didn't plan it that way, but the virus had other ideas. We feel it was a great success. Our students were so gracious and we love them. We are looking forward to our next event virtually. Pretty cool, huh? And now I'm gonna stick this on the back and I've even done my journaling. Y'all have got to be proud of me. I've done the page, I've done the journaling. I mean, that's a it's been 20 history. minutes, it's not even been 20 minutes, y'all. Do y'all see why this is such a May May project? <laughs> I know I cannot be the only person who likes a project that can just be done so quickly and it's something you can enjoy all the time. Like it's an actual album when I'm done. Although I spend maybe, I think the most I've ever spent is like um, 30 minutes on a page maybe. 
you think maybe 30 minutes in a video doing this? Maybe. Maybe. So I mean, by the, you, well, the, mo the, most, the most time is building your album, and that's not even bad. But I mean, this is just the funnest keepsake. I love it. I love it. Let me stick this in here. Like a so. Oh, I like it. There's something about when you finally put it in the book that really makes it. Look how cute it is in the book. Look at my face. <laughs> what am I doing? Look at everybody else. Looks like I'm doing duck face. <laughs> um, Lisa, the wood mailbox is her own order, but I was only able to get just a few more. Uh, but hopefully they'll be back in stock soon and we can get a bunch of them. So we'll flip through again. This is January when we moved into our new store. This is February, Amelia Kay's um, baby shower. I love that stamp. So cute. And this is Amelia Kay's birth month. I could say birthday, her actual birthday, right? So there's Emmy. And this is Addie's second birthday. Look at that face. I just want to get that neck. Tickle, tickle, tickle. And then this is Mother's Day. This is actually the month we, I need to put that on there, the month we discovered Mente. <laughs> it was life changing, right? And that's Mother's Day. My mother, she wishes I'd put like a headband or something on her. She hates her forehead, but I think it's super cute. I tell her all the time, we don't have foreheads. We have five heads. That's why this girl wears bangs, okay? And then this is Father's Day, which I didn't have a current picture of because we couldn't be together officially on Father's Day. We, we weren't officially together on Mother's Day either, by the way. This was two years ago, Mother's Day, I think. Um, this was Father's Day. I love how this one turned out. And then made it con in July. That was super cool. And now August. And I got to tell you something. In Alabama, August is shaping up to be pretty cool because I got word on my weather app that there's a chance we don't get out of the 80s for the rest of August. Hallelujah. When ha I don't remember a month that's ever happened in all. I mean, a year that's ever happened in August. Mm -mm. I don't remember ever being. Now, I'm hoping it's true. I went to look. I started looking at what they're forecasting, and I think we have one day and night, one day of 90 degrees this week. I think. Now, I'm just like, what? It's shocking. But I'm excited because I'm hoping that means we'll be able to like get your parents out and go for a picnic or something. Because since the spring, you've been inside. It's too hot to go outside. So it'd be nice to be able to like go to a picnic, go to my mom's and sit on the back porch. You know what I'm saying? And get to be together again a little bit. It's just been too hot to be together and even social distance on a porch because it's so hot right so and i feel for my uk friends anybody watching from the uk today we were leaving the shop yesterday and who posted how hot it was lydia the one i watched lydia yeah. mill and gordon she posted it was so hot she was living in her car um because they don't have ac in most places in the uk and it was 32 degrees there so i looked up and that's over 100 and here's the thing over 100 here we're we we get over 100 in heat, in, in heat indexes, which now they call heat indices, which is a new thing for me, but heat indexes is what I was raised calling it. But we get over 100 in the heat index, and we've been known to reach over 100, but we have air conditioning, so we can go inside and cool off. But can you imagine being in a climate where you don't have air conditioning, and it's 100 degrees, and oh my goodness, just insane. And so um, we looked it up, and when we were leaving work yesterday, I said, Shannon, it is only 91 degrees here right now. Cause I looked on my phone and I'm like, it's a hundred. It was like 101 in the UK. I cannot imagine. Look, roasting in Scotland. How hot is it in Scotland? Like, and, and do y'all have air conditioner? I doubt that you do. I mean, I doubt in those climates that you do. Um, but the last couple years have been so hot. Y'all need to start considering it. Even if it's one room in your house, you know, cause, um, you have to hook it around my neck. <laughs> you have to wear the air conditioner just like a, yeah. a necklace. Back they make the those thing. you know they make those fans you wear around your neck no um there's a girl i watch in california named sierra schultze i told you about sierra before she um got air conditioning only in her upstairs now check this out vince you would never do this this is not who you are okay they literally had central heat and air no central air installed upstairs only you would never have done that, would you? You'd be like, if I'm spending the money, we're getting downstairs too. And that's what I thought. But they're so used to, and typically they don't have those hot, the hot, hot um, air like that. Look, no air con in Scotland. Tarmac melting on the roads. I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it. They don't need AC in the UK. It's cold there. We were stationed there four years ago. So I'm sorry. It was 101 there yesterday. Our temperature, 101 there. I'm saying, like for Gareth, the heat affects him really bad, my, my friend Gareth. I'm just like, get one of those 
what do they call it? A bi? What do they call those things? A bi? I don't know. A split? A split. That's what it's called, a split. The ones where you just have that unit in that one room. Like, we had it at the old shop, just in one room. We may have to take a donation for the UK to build <laughs> the whole UK. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Anyway, we're pretty excited because August is shaping up. If it does what it says, we might be lucky. And I've been in the Texas heat. We've been to Texas and have we been to Texas in every month of the year or every season? We've been in every season. Probably. No, we did not get to go in ice. We did, we weren't there when it snowed or iced, were we? We were there in July. I remember being in Texas in July. And I'm just going to tell you something. You step out of a car in Texas and your skin melts. Doesn't it? But it's still not near as humid. As it's not seen. humid. It is a different heat. But I will tell you something. Remember when we were going to Torchy's? And the Torchies was not at, you couldn't park at the Torchies. You had to park in the parking lot and walk around. I remember, and your parents were with us on that trip. And I remember getting out on that sidewalk and going, I don't know that we can do this. The, the breeze blowing through that alleyway, the heat hitting you, I thought your parents are going to just roast. And somehow they made it around there. But it was so hot in Texas. And it is a different heat. And even my Texans argue this. They go, it's a different heat, but it's still hot. Yes, it is hot, hot. It's like... You know what it's like, and you'll agree. And I bet, um, is Terrence on here? Did I see Terrence? Yes. yes. Terrence will agree with this. You know when you open your oven and you forget you should back up and let the heat come out? You know, what I'm, you know how you're supposed to back up, let the heat, and you forget and put your head in there, which is how my grandmother used to melt her wig front. You remember this? Okay. So, <laughs> that's always how my grandmother's wig was always like, um, was always singed on the front. That's the kind of heat, that hot heat that hits you is Texas. Right? But Terrence says it's humid in uh, in Houston. But that's what it feels like to me. It's like when you open the oven, it's like, foosh. Mm. Here, it's like when you, you know when you turn on the hose pipe and that first little bit of water is real, real hot? <laughs> that's Alabama heat, isn't it? Just wet. <laughs> Just run your I'll shower read. at a really hot temperature and let your bathroom steam up and then walk in there. That's, that's Alabama. Alabama. That's Alabama. I read on Facebook yesterday that somebody posted that God created Alabama summer so people would not want to go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> but I got to be honest, Texas is like that to me. When we mm -hmm. would go to Texas and that, oh man, and how people work. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that it's a different kind. If you're not from Fort Worth or from Texas, the heat is very... Now, we haven't been to South Texas, so I'm not speaking from my South Texas friends. Texas will melt your fake, fake lashes off your eyes, which is exactly what the stove does. See, it's a good description. If you open the stove and forget you need to give it two seconds, let that air flow out. All this, eyelashes, front of your wig, singed. <laughs> Y'all, my grandmother, I'm, we're going to go after this and go to the after show. Oh, Georgia humidity is no joke. No joke. Um, my grandmother would wear her wig. She had a cooking wig because she would forget and she would singe the front of it, right? And my mother said to her one day, Mama, what have you done to your wig? And she said, don't worry. When I throw it in the washing machine and the dryer, it'll get some of that out. She washed her wig in the washing machine and the dryer. That's what she did. That's, funny. <laughs> That's my grandma, y'all. That's my grandma. All right. We have done another month. I'm super excited. I'm ready for... The cooler days of August? What in the world, y'all? What in the world? <laughs> Hasn't got here yet. It's not here yet, but look at your phone. Look at your phone at your yeah. weather app. You will be... Did you already look? I know her. She giggles everything I say. Y'all, working with Shannon is like having a fact checker walk. You cannot say anything you don't know is true. <laughs> I'm not that bad. Shannon. 82, 78. Shannon. 82. Are you not that bad? Not that bad. If y'all need a fact checker, Shannon you is your girl. We never ponder. Can we ponder, Vince? No. There is no pondering. There's, There's Google. Ponder. We get answers. Google. All right, guys. We're gonna Google. we're gonna head into the after show where we have all kinds of stuff to talk about. So, um, I need to move a little bit. A cooking wig in the washer. washer. Yes. I'm surprised she didn't put it in the dishwasher when she was done doing dishes. All right. We're gonna go to the after show, but I need to move the camera because we're gonna go to the wood table because we have a lot of stuff to show y'all. So, we're gonna head over to the wood table. So, do you have the link, Shannon? Well, what? You already did the link? No. She's going to do the crafter after show link for y'all real quick. Yeah, okay, see you a bit after. Man, Miss Joan is good with all that um text typing. She got it going. Quick. Jennifer, it's usually, where are you from, Jennifer? Because it's usually hot here in mid-September. This is, 
it's got me very hopeful, and I don't want to say it, but it's got me very hopeful for cool September, October, November. You know what I'm saying? Let's hope so. Yeah, Here's you'd love it because it'd get the deer better. running, wouldn't it? I, I'm real hopeful for that. It's oh. in. Ooh, There's go have the fun. Link. There's the link. There's the link. All right, so I'm going to turn this one off, and I'm going to head over to the um, table to set it for the after show. I need to slide this just a little bit, and we're going to hope this works. I'm going to turn y'all a little bit so I hit this X square on. And nothing. It did it again. I have no idea why. I'll have to watch it and let it come up later. I'm sorry, y'all, but we're going to sign out and go to the after show. Bye now. I'm trying to learn a trick. I was hoping if I held that down, it would work, but 